Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and, and once again, it's cast time. So, let me uh, intro this music real quick. This is going to be gold and brown, uh, gems and minerals. Um, it's kind of a cross between Minecraft music and Railroad Tycoon music. You know, like maybe a, like a, like a cross between ambience and bluegrass, or blues maybe. But it, it actually, it's actually a pretty interesting combination. So, yeah, definitely downloading this sucker to my cell phone. Listen to this at work. So, let me go ahead and rewind this back real quick. Now, I got a feeling that this is either going to be a really, really short cast or a really, really long one. Like, there is not going to be any middle ground. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a quick drink here. Arizona green tea. And I do kind of need to sound test this a bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and say close enough on that. Okay, so to start with, um, it was an early stream today. Uh, it's, yeah, I just, I originally, ori originally I was gonna, oh, I also forgot to mention too, um, most if not all of this cast was put together, like in the evening. Like a lot of times, a lot of times I usually scrape stuff together and then get right on the cast, like, towards, like, late evening. Um, this time around, most of it was done, like, in the afternoon, afternoon slash early evening. So, so I don't, I don't remember where my head was at the time. So, but anyway, um, kind of rewinding back to start. Um, I got woke up early. They're doing more construction around my apartment, so it was an early stream, and I, no, still going. How about our YouTube pros up? So, anyway, they're, they were doing more construction around my apartment, so it ended up waking me up early. Um, so, yeah, I just... Or no, originally, I was going to do all multiverses, but um, they were doing maintenance at the time, so I couldn't play the game. So, I went ahead and... Uh, I went ahead and tried pinball, um, but FX3, it actually worked didn't crash same with uh dx11 pinball arcade uh but unfortunately i i basically did below average i mean definitely didn't win any tournaments um the weekly matchup tables really suck um i got a i got lucky on on one or two one or two table runs but otherwise it was, for the most part it was just one big fail uh, the tournaments, I think I got, I the best I got was second place on one of them, but the rest of them, I was pretty much all over the place. I did above average on some, but did really, really bad in others. So, but overall, nothing, nothing that impressive. And Pinball Arcade, more of the same. Uh, I think... I think I probably did good on one table, Earthshaker, but not enough to reach the top five high scores. But I did, I did uh, perform solidly. But all the rest of them. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to mention too, um, my canker sore is starting to heal up. Um, I could, I could talk fairly long, but not too long. Then it, then it starts acting up. It still kind of hurts when eating, though. So, yeah. But like I said, it's just starting to heal up. So, probably towards the end of this cast, don't be surprised if I end up ending it, 
if I end up cutting it off early because my canker sore is like getting really irritated. Uh, but anyway, uh, after after playing the pinballs, um, I went over to Multiverses. It's been uh, throughout the session, it's been uh, doing updates. It's been getting uh, patches and hotfixes and whatnot. Um, excuse me. Eventually, it stopped. So I figured, uh, why not go back and check? Which I did. And Multiverses was up and running. Now, I'm probably going to mirror... I'm probably going to say here a lot of what I said on this, uh, this, this video I did for Multiverses, like doing it for the very first time. Overall, the game's pretty great. I like it. Um, problem is, is, um, it, it's just barely streamable. Um, kind of, it's kind of like, um, kind of like Guilty Gear Strive when I tried playing it. I had to, it's, I could probably stream it if I set all the graphic settings at the lowest, but the problem is, it looks so damn pixelated, it's like, it's like, really hurts the eyes, or it's like a big time eyesore. Um, Multiverses is the same thing. But, uh, I didn't wanna, I didn't want this game to go the Guilty Gear Strive route, and me not just play it at all. So, I set the graphics to in the middle. Like, in this game here, the, the graphic settings, there is no ultra, high, medium, low, poor, or anything like that. Instead, it goes on percentages from 100% all the way down to 10%. So, that was something different. But I just set it to 50%. So, it's, it's streamable and without it being too hard on the eyes. Um, but one big problem I had with it though is, uh, I can't, I can't play YouTube music with it, because, uh, playing stuff on, uh, YouTube, it uses up too much CPU, which, uh, which puts, uh, puts the stream over the 100% mark, and it does cause, it does cause in-game lag, so, I had a, I gotta switch to, uh, Windows Media Player. So, which doesn't, it's not as big a drain on resources, but, um, okay, I guess I am going to need this. So, it's going to be a minute or two. I got to, I got to pull this up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I guess I'll, I'll take another drink while I'm at it. see this now there might be a completely a completely unexpected window that might pop up I'll try to catch it though okay there it goes the correct one came up so with my 4k downloader that I use for downloading uh, YouTube videos um, I'm hoping you can see this I'll just, even though I already have the album, I'm gonna cop the video URL. But like I said, I've already downloaded this uh, video. Yeah, you guys can't see it. So let me try the, uh, Again, don't be surprised if you see a totally off kilter window. Okay, there it goes. It went up. Now, if you can see here, 4K downloader, it allows you to download video, but you can also extract the audio. Like, just the audio. But the problem is, is uh, it doesn't, and this probably sound, this is probably going to sound like a major first world problem, but it doesn't download the thumbnail that goes with it, like the, al the album cover. I mean, hell, it's 
probably one of, one of the most important parts of an album is the album cover. This is especially true when it comes to vinyl. I mean, one of the, you know, one of the big reasons you buy vinyl records is because of the damn album cover. Some of them album covers are freaking cool as hell. But, you know, you know, e and even though this isn't vinyl that I'm downloading, you know, I'd still like a nice thumbnail on, you know, a nice thumbnail and not just a blank, you know, a blank space, a blank black space, or if I'm really lucky, a musical note, like the kind you see on Windows Media Player, like if there's no album art, it gives you that, that musical note on there instead. That's what a 4K downloader does. So, like I said, as nitpicky as it might sound, it, it doesn't give me the thumbnails along with it. So, to me, it's basically a requirement. But now, but when I do, when I do just extract the audio, I can't up. And even though, I think I've figured out, I think, you can, you can extract the audio to the Windows Media Player uh, folder, and I believe it does show up on it, and you can play that album on Windows Media Player. But again, there is, I didn't see an option on Windows Media Player, though, to, to, uh, like, change, you know, add a screenshot to it, or change the, uh, edit the thumbnail. There was no option, even though Google said there was. So I don't know what the hell is going on with that. So, so, so what this means is it'd be super tedious, but I, I would have to make a separate folder for album covers. And then what I, when I go to stream this game and when I introduce my next, uh, my next album, like I do on my cast videos, I would have to take a separate screenshot, save it into that album cover folder, then when I when I want to intro that album, I have to show that screenshot and then go to Windows Media Player and then play the album. And it's like this two-part process. It just it, no. So and then there's the mat and then there's the matter of I don't I don't know how well you guys can see this. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. Thought I was gonna crash. But, you know, streaming this game almost seems pointless. I mean, if you could look over here, Multivert, right now, there's 126,000 viewers, so this game is super, bad, super duper popular. You know, even, even with it being almost 11.30 p.m. my time, there's 126,000 people on here. Okay, now, any uh, any aspiring streamers out there might look at this and, wow, we that's a lot of viewers. Boy, I bet you a lot of them would come in my channel. Nope. Nope. Um, so, anybody interested in streaming, here's some advice. Don't. Don't believe the hype. Don't, you know, don't follow the numbers. Why? I can show you right here. 62,000, or I'll round it up. 63,000 viewers are just on this one channel alone. That's about half of this number right here. And, um, XQC. He looks like Ninja. Leg you know, legendary streamer Ninja. That's what he looks like. Maybe it is him. Who knows? You know, then you have... 9,400 viewers. Maximilian Dude, one of the most legendary fighting game content creators of all time. So there's 9,400. Quite a big drop off, but I mean, God, that's a lot. I mean, that's almost 10,000 people just on one channel. So that's between 5 to 10% of uh, 126,000 right there. 62. That's. That's a little over half. RDC Gaming, never heard of them. 5,700 viewers. So, like I was saying, it, it's, almost, it's almost pointless to stream this game. In 
fact, let me let me do this. This is definitely one this is definitely one Twitch feature I like. You can now uh for the longest time you couldn't change the uh you couldn't change the view order. Like if you wanted to watch like a small time streamer like I prefer to, I'd have to scroll, 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 or even um or I can't remember if it worked or not, page down, the page down key. I had to sit there and tap that like a madman until I got down to the bottom. But Twitch made it so you could, uh, you can, uh, change your, uh, change the page to, from low to high. So, and again, I'm really hoping you guys can see this, zero viewers. Some of them don't even have thumbnails, although maybe the page is still loading. But yeah. Look at all these zeros. Look, zero viewers. And I kind of talked about this in our yesterday's cast. This is probably me right here. This super popular game, like, you know, this super popular game here. Is that even multiverses? This looks like Fall Guys. Oh yeah, look at this. Zero's out the wazoo. These small time streamers not getting much love. Oh, there we are. We've been promoted. Now it's one viewer. Man, look at all these ones. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother. You kind of get the idea, though. So, if I was gonna stream this game, um, not that I, not that I wouldn't have by default, but I would probably have to stream like, like around my normal time, like around 2:30 p.m. So, I guess um. Uh, more advice to any any aspiring streamers. Once again, don't look at the numbers. Numbers here can be deceiving. Kind of along the lines of, especially true if you're a beginner streamer. You know, you're probably going to be nervous at first, having never done it before. Um, I don't know where it, on on your particular stream software, but turn that view count off. Like the amount of viewers you ha currently have on your channel, turn it off. Because that, if, if, if you look at that, like if you, if you, if it says five viewers, all right, I got people checking out my channel, but then all of a sudden it goes to zero. That's going to really fuck with you, man. I know it, it kind of did with me at first when I first started streaming, like when I was streaming on my PS4, like I think it was like seven years ago. I would see all these people come on my channel, like five people on my channel. All right, they're checking me out playing Diablo 3. Hey guys. All of a sudden, zero. What the hell? Uh, 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 you know, it, it really messes with you. So, so if, if you're just starting out, turn the view count off. Um, I'm, I'll have, I have it on, but I've also been streaming long enough to know, I, the, the ebb and flow of traffic of people that come in and out and all that. So, but even then. Even then, I'm not a slave to it because there's been times where my view count will show zero viewers, but I already have like two or three people talking to me. So it doesn't always work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. And then I guess since I'm here. Um, on one of my other cast videos yeah there's probably more people here earlier but yeah five viewers yeah one and three and you got a dangler you got somebody dangling around here somewhere 
DNF duel. I'll bet it's more of the same on this one too. 3,000 viewers. Let me let me switch that around. This is another brand new game that came out. 3,000 viewers. 2,300 of them are checking out Yipes. So, once again, don't don't believe the hype. Everybody and their dog might be checking out DNF Duel, but they're all on here to check out either Team Spooky or Yipes. Maybe Sonic Saw. Never heard of him before. Uh, New York City, Furby. I've heard the name. I can't. I thought I can't say I've seen him before, though. And then we'll go down here again. Oh, wow. I guess this game's a little bit better. Only one zero viewer, and then you got and oh, got a bunch of ones. Oh, how about that? We got twos here, twos and then threes. So, and then um. Yeah, 82 people here. Yeah, kind of the same thing here, too. You got 60 more viewers there. But yeah, they I'd probably say based on this, you're probably better off just streaming pinball, because if only because I don't see any, uh, there's nobody on here with like zero viewers or, you know, zero or one. But this is probably, uh, this is my wheelhouse right here. I get more people checking me out on pinball than I do anywhere else. But, it, again, I, this, I mean, this is, it's 11.35 p.m. right now, so everybody's probably in bed and stuff. So, not that many people on here. So maybe there would be more more streamers with zero or one viewers, but I mean it's there's a disparity here, but it ain't that much. So what could possibly be happening here? Maybe this is what goes on when I stream. There's just a lot a lot of people are moving around. You know, they check out stream, you know, don't panic flip for a while, and then decide to go over here and check out homegrown beat up and they you know it's almost almost like an ant farm you know just people constantly moving in and out and stuff so but um basically the conclusion I came to on all that um like I said not that I I, I wouldn't have done this but if I do stream it I'm probably gonna stream it at like my normal time like around 2 30 p.m. um Tomorrow, chances are I might I might do that. And it looks like it's gonna be a long one, 23 minutes already. Like I like I said at the start of this cast, this is either gonna be a super short one or a super long one. So, so anyway, um, but that's if I choose to stream it though. Like I said, if I do stream it, then I'm forced to use a Windows Media Player for my music and it's just gonna make a real mess of things because once again I won't be able to use YouTube when streaming because my uh, computer can't handle it I would have to go to again the Windows Media Player route which doesn't it's not as resource intensive or instead of streaming it just make a simple one hour gameplay video you know and then that way that doesn't use as much resources so I can still uh, play a uh, play a uh, YouTube music, and all of this is just because 4K downloader doesn't doesn't download the thumbnails. So, uh, but speaking of but speaking of that, um. I did also for Gems of War. I did my weekly PvP. I 
it totally slipped my mind yesterday. So I went ahead and did a, I think it, I think it lasted about an hour, uh, getting my tier, my PVP tier from 15 to one. So, but I, I also totally forgot that I, I unlocked pet rescue. So, no pet for Joe. But yeah, I, you only get like one hour to go rescue that pet. But like I said, it totally slipped my mind. So. Um, but uh, otherwise, one thing I, like yesterday, uh, just kept on watching Dante's Inferno, uh, the playthrough. Um, I forgot to say it on yesterday's cast, but it has probably my all-time favorite voice acting. And one of my uh, all-time favorite soundtracks as well. You know, it's like epic orchestral music done right. Like, that's truly epic. I mean, most other epic, I mean, most other orchestral scores sounds like fucking elevator music. I mean, World of Warcraft and, uh, and Final Fantasy XIV are notorious for this. I mean, yeah, they got some gems in those things. But they also have a whole lot of duds, though. A lot of it just puts me to sleep. I'm boring as hell. So. And then on top of that, I forgot to say this too, but uh, earlier, sometime after I did my uh, streams, I um, I fired up some idol champs. Um, I think uh, I watched a small part of a part of a idol champ podcast. Like um, I th I think they're I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wishy-washy on this at the moment. I don't think they uh, they directly participated in the actual making of the game. It seems I was kind of wrong about that. I thought uh, all the all the game dev, like all the um, all of the game devs, the ones that actually make the game, um, actually stream it. But I'm after watching some of these podcasts, I'm under the impression that they don't. Now, they played D and D. Um, the characters they use are actually in the Idle Champs Idle game. But it's to my knowledge though that to my knowledge though that these guys here they're at least as far as like the actual technical side of it, you know, the actual program and the code and all that, I don't think these guys do it. But I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda talking out loud, so I'm trying to I'm trying to sort this out. But I think they, uh, but like I said, they actually do play D&D, and they actually stream it. But I think they, they probably create the content for it. I think that's what they do. But they're not involved in the actual coding. I thought, uh, I think last I talked about that, um, I was under the assumption that everybody did everything. Like, everybody that plays Dungeons and Dragons also do the coding for the game, and they also do all the artwork. Like they, like I said, everybody does every aspect of the game, but apparently, uh, it's kind of divided up. The people that actually do the coding, I don't know. If anything, I'm guessing they probably have either one day or one time, or like one day out of the week or one time out of that day. They probably talk about, they probably talk about the technical side of, the, of that game, maybe. So, but like, but it's. My, my statement on Idle Champs still stands. It's probably got one of, if not the best community in any game I've seen. So maybe World of Warcraft, like when it first came out, when it was brand new. Maybe uh, RuneScape, when it first came out, it was fresh and brand new. I mean, these days in World of Warcraft, people are so freaking toxic and jaded. I mean... I mean, the game's getting a little... The game's a bit long in the tooth. I mean, it's been out, like... To me, it's been out too long. It's now just another grind for everybody. I'm gonna take another drink here. So, but... Anyway, um... Kind of going back to what I was originally wanting to talk about. Um... I tried watching an actual D&D session with these guys. I still can't do it. Um, I figure, you know, since I think I've watched, I've watched a good chunk of a lot of these podcasts. 
like all these D and D players, they they'll do like podcasts. I I forget his name, but he's like a I don't for lack of a better phrase, um, commu- uh, the uh, community leader or public relations guy. I don't know what else to call him, but uh, he'll uh, Trevor. His first name's Trevor. I don't know his last name, but he'll like do these podcasts with all these D and D players. You know, hi, what got you into D&D? You know, that kind of stuff. So I figure, you know, since I've been watching these it, while while streaming Idle Jams, I figured, oh, might as well watch a, make another attempt at watching a play session. Still can't do it. I get a little way in, yeah, you just, you watch them, like, actually acting and stuff, and it just, I don't know, I don't know if there's any dice rolling involved. That was the other thing. I mean, it's like, it's almost like you're looking at fucking acting class or something. So, but I, I might give it another attempt here in the future. So, I ain't, I ain't gonna discount it, or I ain't gonna discount it completely. But like I said, it, at best, I'd probably watch this in small doses. So. And yeah, the canker sore is getting a bit on the irritating side now, so... I think I've been talking. I think I've been talking a little too much, but like I said, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I think I said this at the start. It's either going to be a really short one or a really long one. So, and it, at 31 minutes right now, it turned out to be a long one. So. so but. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. I've said all the things I wanted to say. I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, and then some. And my canker sore agrees. So, But today, this is my last cast for the week. So my work week has started up Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, Which means you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So... Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And I'll see you guys on Sunday morning. So, until then, take care. <laughs>